Hi, my name is Paola from the Artisan Bottega. Today we're making traditional arancini. Hi everyone. Today we're going to make arancini together. I'm going to show you from the beginning how to make the risotto and uh, then you come with me and we'll make the arancini with the arancini mold. I can promise you it's very, very easy to use. And I'll show you how the risotto looks like pre-arancini. All the ingredients will be shown in the ingredients list at the bottom of the video. And now I will show you how we made the ragu and the rice earlier. I will demonstrate you two different sizes of arancini moulds, okay? They look difficult, but believe me, they're very, very easy to use. A pyramid, which is the pear shape, and also this little baby one, which is called the, the oval. Okay, so this one here, I would say that's more suitable if you do sweet rice arancini. Um, delicious with chocolate or caramel or, or all sorts of fillings to your choice. This is the risotto that I have already prepared. And the sauce, the sauce is most definitely very similar to Bolognese. Uh, with peas and mints. Um. So I'm making the risotto which is nearly ready. So what I do is just put my risotto, a bit of oil, a bit of butter, and on this pot here, I keep my stock nice and hot to add it in the risotto every now and then when it needs it, when it's, um, it's dried up. Okay, you want to just do that every now and then, when it's dried, just a very, very little at a time. You want this beautiful, glutinous rice, so your arancini will mold beautifully together. Ingredients to make the ragu are pork or beef, ground mints, celery, onion, peas, carrots, olive oil, tomato puree, tomato paste, a glass of wine and some basil. This is a soffitto that we're going to put in the middle of the arancini. Yeah, cooking nicely. So, the arancini mold has got three parts to it. The main part where you put, you fill it up with your risotto, okay? Nice and full like that. Then on goes the collar, and then you make the, this makes a little hole in the middle, like so. And then push it right down, and I'll show you. Look. So that's your hollow where you're going to now put a little bit of the egg if you like egg, definitely mozzarella and a nice teaspoonful of the filling, like so. Now, you can make vegetarian ones if you don't like meat. Most definitely at the end, it tastes just as delicious. Then you get another little bit of rice, not too, too much. And that becomes the top, the lid. Of the other thing. Then this made your hole in the middle. This end bit will seal your arancini just like so. Okay. And then magic happens. Look what you got. Beautiful, perfect. So these ones here, have they got a different name? They call them supli because they are sort of different shape to the actual arancina. Okay, 
how to crumb them, put them in egg and egg and uh, breadcrumbs. Then I'll go off and cook them and then we'll eat them together. So once you've made the arancini, you need breadcrumbs. You can mix it with semolina or a bit of polenta. It's up to you. Both works. And some uh, beaten eggs. So put the arancini in the egg first, then breadcrumbs, and then you're ready to deep fry. Breadcrumbs and just beaten eggs, okay? You put your arancini, put your arancino in the egg, and then in the breadcrumb, like so. And you just lightly press your breadcrumbs in so it absorbs into the egg. And I'll come back to you and show you the finished product and then we'll eat some. Okay? So I'm just setting up here in the kitchen, line them all up, just waiting for the oil to get nice and hot. And then one by one, you can just start frying them. Just make sure that you don't get the oil too, too hot. Now you'll know when it's ready, if you drop a little bit of breadcrumbs like this, and it starts to fry, See how that's doing little bubbles now? Just a tiny little bit warmer and then we can start a frying our arancini. Here you are guys, so frying the arancini. Look, gorgeous golden color. You don't want to over overcook them because you know everything inside is already cooked anyway. Okay. So just a beautiful golden brown, just like that. Beautiful. Okay. This is the best part now, I guess. So this is the finale. This is a beautiful arancini, already nicely cooked. But I also wanted to show you something else you can do. If you're having a party, um, you can always Cupcakes and molds are not just for cupcakes. Look what you, or else you can do. You can put your arancini into the little cupcakes, papers, and if you're having a party, you can just go around and just serve them just like that. I think they're just beautiful. The best part to try them. See, look. That's what you were waiting for, weren't you? Absolutely, yes. Okay. okay, so we'll just open one, see what's going on inside. So that's your beautiful arancini, nice and cool. Mmm, egg bon Cheers. So come on guys, we sell the molds here, if you're interested, give us a call, we can post them out to you, or you can do click and collect at this time of the year, because of all the restrictions. Thank you for watching.